Stormcaller opening, okay. He's probably gonna go Arc Lights if I guessed. I think we still have to play into the Arc Lights. I mean, uh, into him. Because if he doesn't go Arc Lights, it's good for us. Maybe we just go more Sledgehammers? Oh, he's more Sledgehammers. Okay, what's our ally? Marksman. His enemy's cost control and mine's elite specialist. Okay. And he did go arc light like I thought. So I'm glad I didn't go crawlers into it. But that's a lot of health to chew through with uh, sledgehammers. We have to shoot that, what, um, 12 times? No, 13 times? Yeah, it's not gonna happen. My hope is that these go here, or at least these ones kill this group. Because, uh, 13 shots to kill that arc light's not gonna work out in my favor. Well, at least we killed one set of them. Power of a tanky arc light turn one's kind of kind of rude. Oh, that did level up those storm callers though. Now I'm sad. Well, I don't have arc lights. I could get them, but I don't think I do. Might not be bad. This not, might not be bad. Skipping's also not a terrible idea. I'm debating Rhino. Might help me out a turn. We're just gonna grab Mechanical Rage. And we just uh, punch him in the butt with a Rhino. He also might punch me in the butt with a Rhino, but that's okay. All right, what is our ally up to? He got intelligent arc lights, so he's probably gonna be leveling them up. No, my opponent's probably also going, yeah, intelligent arc light. Everyone went intelligent arc light except me. Am I the dumb one? Okay, good. They killed the fangs. All right, good job, uh, Rhino. Punch it in the butt. Oh. Mechanical Rage also coming in clutch here. Uh, we're kind of speedy. Now, I'm glad... No, he's still got some of that experience. So there's something called Melee Aura for experience gain, if you didn't know that. Um, essentially, if you have a unit that's close enough to another, another unit that dies, even if you don't hit it, you get assist experience for it. guy dies oh they missed drunk arc drunk uh storm color we will give this to our left sledgehammers now the question is do we just give them field maintenance and not care about what the opponent's going to do if i was the opponent i would go air units this turn so i guess it really depends how deep into the sledgehammer tech do I want to go this early? I don't think I'd go that, do it that early. I think we might go Rhino. We had still the same problem. If he goes air, I'm hosed. Maybe Mustang is the correct, correct response. And then we just take double Mustang. We just drop him in the very, very back. Yeah, I think that's the play. Uh, he did not go air. Okay, well, not expecting that. 
I mean, I think that's the correct play you do. And our ally is pretty well situation. Okay, we're cutting through pretty easily. Our tanks are pretty good at tanking all this damage. Uh, we get this tower kill, that's nice. And we get the uh, hits up when it was paralyzed, so I'm really happy about that. And I think our sledgehammer is clean up here. There we go. Good sledgehammers. That, that one sniper on our ally side has been doing work. He's been lifting. Holy cow. Okay, I might have gone a little too heavy into it, but... 34,000 health sledgehammer. It's kind of a lot. Don't judge me. Yeah, so if the opponent doesn't drop it, like steel balls or something, uh, we got some very, very tanky boys. And then we got these for the air unit cleanup in the back. Yeah, I like our setup. Even though I had to go into a little bit of debt for it, I just think... Um, yeah, he's not getting laser units. These are gonna be tanky. Watch him shrug off this missile. I don't even care. Well, then we gotta get the milk to go with the beef. Because, you know, whenever I have beef, I want milk. Maybe that's just me. I just really like milk when I have beef. Is that weird? Okay, I just like milk in general. Milk is good. It's lovely. Alright, we got the tower kill. That means this tank lives. These sledgehammers are putting in work. Oh, are these sledgehammers going to level again? Man, these are going to be brutal to try to take down for the enemy. He, he put uh, super heavy armor in his arc light. They're hungry for more. Next turn, they'll be like, what, 49,000 health or something like that, I think? Uh, no, 40... Brain's not working. 47. I'm gonna say 47,000. No, 48. All right, we'll just skip. Upgrade, free upgrade. It's time for the swarm. He also has a very healthy arc light too. That's kind of a problem. We can put a knight on him, which will help us deal with this arc light that's gonna take 8,000 years to kill. He does have anti-aircraft though, but I don't think he's expecting this. Oh, interesting. He's not. Yeah, he finally got balls. Uh, these have 10,000 health. Our tanks do 2,400. And I think the balls win. We do have 45,000 health, though. But yeah, those balls, I think they win. He killed one of them. There's two. All right, uh, he put two groups of balls and we're still left with three tanks. Oh, this is a forever fight over here. I mean, the sniper's gonna win though.
Yeah, these tanks are gonna level again. I could go uh, armor piercing shells as well, which will one shot the balls. Or not one shot, it'll damn well near get there though. I don't think I wanna sink 700 into the tech though for it. Maybe I do. They're good there eventually. Yeah, that's a good idea, Sticky Bomb. So right now, it all depends on how heavy I want to go into my tanks. I don't think I should go any heavier into my tanks. But I kind of want to. Do, do we do this just for the, the giggles of it? I'm going to follow my heart. Oh, I don't mind backseating at all. Go, go for it. There we go. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. 7,600 damage. Armor piercing bullet tanks. With 56,000 health. It just, it keeps on giving. That means they two shot these steel balls. Lovely. Alright, I should have used my power. That's my bad. I completely just forgot I had it. Okay, he's got two default rhinos here. I wonder if these are doing any good. Because if they're not doing anything, I would just sell them if I was him. Oh yeah, that's, that's huge. That's slowing half of them down. Oh, he got the uh, 15k missiles. Okay, so he, he also has the 15,000 missiles, but my tanks don't care. <laughs> my tanks have already healed from that missile. Uh, he did get charge shot, arc light, I think. Yeah, he got charge shot, so these deal 6,000 shot. It's pretty strong. Well, now I'm um, unfortunately on the uh, slow. Oh, if we would have got that. Ouch. Okay, this is actually going to hurt. Um, We can still kill this tower in a few hits, though. I need you to kill the tower. There we go, we got the tower. This is awkward. Uh oh. Well, I think uh I think these tanks die. Wait a minute. We have fangs. All right, this fang group is getting the promotion. Uh oh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll both take some damage here. Uh-oh, this is bad. Uh, I would go Lightning Storm, but I don't think we can close the game out. I don't have enough stuff on my side of the field, dude. Oh, why'd I buy this? Oops. Uh, mistakes were made in the, uh, yeah, mistakes were made. Okay, why do we do this turn? Oh, yeah, thank you for the reminder. I kind of want to go...
Stormcaller. Melting point? I don't think we do anything with that. Um... There we go. Oh, uh, and the arc light is unfortunately turning around. Dang it. Well, he got the kill on that guy at least. Oh, we're killing we're killing his big arc light with our uh, melting point. Our melting point's gonna be level three. Yeah, not a single one of these tanks died that round. And they're level seven. <laughs> I remembered this time. Well, I got reminded. Deaton. There we go. Okay. So our plan is we have a bunch of crawlers that pop out of our bungholio and they distract everything. He he does have arc lights, but they come out in such a staggered format that they should do really well against what he has. So and these help counter air units as well, so it should work out. He finally got melting points with charged ammo. This is really good for the uh, opponent. But, like I said, we have a bunch of crawlers being popped out, so it should work out. And I think our opponent was just too stubborn to, um... Uh-oh, we're gonna have Phoenixes on our side. <laughs> Look how fast these are, 17 meters a second. Yeah, we're just walking, walking right over this guy this turn. Uh, crawl, I think the melting point crawlers was the key. It produces so much flak to shoot. Yeah, it's just amazing. Um, I don't think we kill him this turn. One, two, three, four, twenty-four. They're off the map right now, just to let you know. <laughs> I really wish I had taken charge shot right about now. My, my tanks aren't even on the map anymore. 100. Yeah, I, I still had tanks in this area. <laughs> I wish you could act it because that'd be cool. things to spawn crawlers i do have electro marksman maybe i should have dropped one marksman and got electro on it but i decided to drop another melting point instead 
Um, I do believe that missile is misplaced. It should be here. I think I escape it due to how fast I am. Uh, I don't think this missile kills any of my wasp. I lied, it did catch me. That was wrong. Oh, he actually got aerial arc lights, okay. So he got past our group of crawlers, but we're about to poop out the next group. Next group of crawlers has spawned. Yeah. If it went on another round, that would have been a level nine sledgehammer. Sledgehammer carry. Next speed specialist. Let's get some fangs, big fang energy, you know? That is the most disgusting thing. Okay. Arc lights. We'll need them. We we'll need to put them a little bit for uh forward. I don't think he's gonna do a rush strategy with I almost clicked this button. With Mustang, so we should be okay. Kinda like this. And then we need the Phoenixes all the way back. All right, quick check. Our enemy is Rhino Spec. His allies cost. Mine is heavy. Okay, so he's frontlining snipers. Okay, good. Our arc light went left. Oh, we get this tower kill before he does. So we get this sniper. Okay, we traded. Um, he wins with barely a little. Oops. Okay, so we take like 500 damage this turn. I think we go slow chambers now. Uh, this is a bit awkward spacing wise. I don't want these slow chambers too far forward. This this is badly positioned over here. Oh well. Okay, so our ally is now putting down mustangs. He has phoenixes in the back. And his enemy has double sledgehammer, double marksman, triple arc light. His marks are a level. That's gonna be a bit spooky. Uh, even if they level nineteen seventy five, double that, just shy of four thousand, they still don't one shot. Even if they level up, it's kind of the weakness of Ka. What? Why? Why? Oh, we take the missile to the face though. Oof. Painful. We still get this pretty well knocked out though. Wait, isn't he just super feeding my units with crawlers? Um, How much is a level five crawler? Two is three, three is five, four is seven, five is nine. So 
So that means every single unit that participated in the kill of those things got 36 experience per crawler distributed amongst them. So we just got a lot of experience, yeah. And I should be able to level my tanks up off of uh, these guys if I get kills off of them. My arc lights are going to level. Yeah, my tank just needs to get some assist experience off these. Yeah, he only got one assist experience. It's not bad. At least our arc lights level up. Okay, so our opponent's probably going to put crawlers on our flanks this turn. Okay, I'm just start, I'm trying to anticipate a flank. I think that would help out the most. He does have the Rhino. We level the Phoenix based on that. I think he's gonna put the Rhino right side because our right side is the weakest. Maybe I should have put a um, shield here instead of leveling these. It's not like the Rhino can shoot up anyway, right? He did not flank. And he's so far left to D. Okay, he did put it right side. I did predict that correctly. So these Phoenixes leveled up should be helpful. Yeah, if you get charge shot arc lights at level two, they smoke things. Very good. Yeah, and we're going to be able to smack this pretty easily, I think. Yep, and now we get some uh, of this assist kill. Like these are just going to cut through those really easy. Yep, there we go. Arc lights fed. Also, take a take a note out of the enemy's book here. Never go crawlers level three on round two. You're just super feeding the enemy experience. But unfortunately, these outrange me heavily, so I can't kill them. This actually helps out a fair bit. I might grab it. I think what I want to do. Do we go charge shot? He does have a lead on his marksman. I think I plan for a future case. Okie dokie. So my plan is for future cases, if my ally for some reason doesn't win his side, even though he's doing a double wasp spawn, uh, that was too late warning him. broke through. I need another arc light or something or charge shot on my arc lights. Yeah, I needed charge shot my arc lights that turn. But I went for storm callers instead. This charge shot means these claws get one shot. Yeah, my uh ally should have dropped his wasp over here on the other side. This should catch the Mustangs and the Marksmen. Okay, so he jumped his Wasp back into his back line. Good. If these were back line Wasp... Oh, he doesn't have any anti-air. Maybe he's not even going to bother with Mustangs. Okay. If that's the case, we can probably 
You could probably get away with that then. The only downside is they have jump drive, so they're gonna be frontlining, but that's okay. Yeah, he didn't grab. Oh. <laughs> All right, we got the uh, marksman just like we thought on this side. Our charge arc lights deal 3,500 damage a shot. They should cut through these balls pretty darn quick. Yep. All right, we win this side at least. And... Yeah, the wasp cut through. Very nice. Amp core. Oh, uh, there was a missile strike in there, I, I believe I saw. You know what? This arc light, he deserves the big boy upgrade. Yeah. because our phoenix has some shields um i feel like we take rapid to upgrade our storm callers I feel that's appropriate and same thing uh let's kill this marksman and our allies doing the exact same thing big <coughs> arc light energy all right i got another shield down his power didn't work out Oh, that missile went the wrong way. Our arc lights are very hungry and they're feeding. These balls are just getting slaughtered by my arc lights. We're still okay on the left side. Shield tech working out for me. Oof. His uh, marksmen do outrange me because I don't have um, range enhancement right now. Oh, that is the worst aim I've seen. That's like me playing Overwatch. Oh, if they would have gotten off a salvo, they could have at least killed these three. That would have been not, uh, not bad. We just gotta keep shielding. Uh, it's the only way I'm really winning my sides is just surviving long enough it's a bad idea but whatever I'm doing it we're gonna take another upgrade another uh whatever you call this loan we've lost minus 200 from that but I feel the upgrades are worth it I mean like this is a 34,000 health arc light it's pretty beefy and then we got our storm collars with parasitic ammo, which will help deal with these snipers if our ally doesn't kill them. And then I gave myself extra range uh, to try to help out against these range of these guys. So if he doesn't take the enhanced range here, our storm collar should remain outranging him. But they'll be at 212. Yeah, they'll be eight meters off. So if they keep leveling, they'll outrange my storm callers. All right, good. We got this at least. very good the fight went well for us we kept this shield on the left that's a extra hundred we don't got to spend next turn and
Ooh, nice. I'm gonna go deploy specialist. Then we're gonna grab Electro. And then we're gonna drop two Storm Callers. Shield. And we're gonna put these Storm Callers on the back. So they disable the tech. So we don't have to worry about a mechanical division going off. Give our ally a shield. Alright, let's see how this works out. Yeah, the Electro is working wonderfully. Yeah, the Electro is really good. Oh, we are losing a bit on the left side, though. This one arc light might be able to handle it with these uh, storm collars. They just look left right now. Okay, what would be the best thing we can do here? I think incendiary is the best choice. I think this will kill that sniper actually. I can still kill the Mustangs though. I think that's worth it. Wait, I forgot the sniper is going to be out of range of this, isn't he? Yeah, whatever. What the heck? Alright, these Vulcans should help out quite a bit with their uh, incendiaries. Oh, they have a missile interceptor on them. Okay. Uh, that's actually really bad for me then. Holy cow. Yeah, that stomped me. Yeah, I lost my side pretty convincingly. He's got fully, fully up darks, not bad. So I do know it takes three storm callers per Vulcan to stop double, double barrage. So that might be the, my salvation. Oh, 
Well, first things first before I forget. And keep, uh, you know, spitting money out. We need the range. Okay, that should be enough Vulcans with uh, the missile tech. So yeah, it takes all three of these to stop one Vulcan with double tech. Yeah, so unless he drops a bunch more Mustangs this turn, he can only stop one Vulcan each. And I have one, two, three, four, five Vulcans. So it should work out. Hmm. I like my ally side of the field. Yeah, see look, you can't you can't stop all this fire. That's a lot of fire. That's a lot of fire. It's so much fire, I have nine frames. <laughs> I know it's so much. Was fun. Yeah, eight frame rate with that much fire on screen. <laughs> 